boys and girls, I'm going to show you how to make a clay fish, okay? Um, we read a book about a fish out of water, and now you're going to make one out of modeling clay. Now, this is the one that I made out of earth clay. Um, so this is practice, okay? So you cannot keep the fish that you're making today. All right, so we're going to use modeling clay, and this is a man-made clay, and it's very oily, and it is going to leave your hands a little bit messy, but we'll wash your hands, and we have something to wipe it off, okay? There's another tool you're going to need besides the modeling clay is you're going to need a loop tool. There's a loop on the end, a pencil point. Now, first thing I want to talk about, if you're sitting and being ready, you're going to get some modeling clay. If you're playing around and you're being silly, you're going to have to wait longer. So listening and following directions is very important. If you're not doing the right thing, it's going to get taken away from you, boys and girls. Okay, so no bouncing on the table, no throwing it up in the air. Okay, and if you don't get practice, yours is not going to look as good. Okay, all right, so the first thing we're going to do is, well, when we make a fish, boys and girls, we're going to make it um, three-dimensional. That means it's not flat. The word in art, that means something's 3D. It's called a form. Everybody say form. Okay, so to make, the first thing you're going to warm this up because it's kind of cold. So you're going to warm it up, squeeze it in between your hands, okay? So once it starts feeling warm, boys and girls, okay, then you can go ahead and start working with it, okay? All right, we're going to roll it on the table. And when we roll it on the table, around and around, guys, it's going to make it into a form that's 3D, and it's like a ball. It's called a sphere. Everybody say sphere. All right, so once you get your sphere, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to flatten it once, flip it over, flatten again, so it's like a cookie. All right, once you have your cookie, we're going to do some pinching. That means it's your thumb and your pointer finger. We're going to make a bird, and we're going to make the tail of the fish. We're going to pinch it once, so it kind of looks like a mushroom, okay? Once you pinch it once, you're going to pinch to make the rest of the tail. We're going to pinch it once, twice, okay? Now I've got my tail. Then you're going to pinch along the top three times to make the fin. One, two, three. Then we're going to pinch along the bottom two times to make a bottom fin. One, two. All right, so now you have the body of your fish. Okay, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to use this handy tool to add some details. Okay, now we're going to press in, and we don't want to go all the way to the bottom, but we're going to press in, and we're going to make a little eye with the pencil point. Now we're going to make a mouth of the fish. If you use the side of the pencil and you press in to the modeling clay, you're going to get a little mouth. And then we're going to draw a line on the side so it looks like it's gill. Now we're going to add some texture. Okay, when we did your previous project, we talked about how texture is how something feels. Okay, so when we think about a fish, we know the fish has scales on the side of its body. All right, so we're going to add some scales to give it texture. So I'm going to use the end of my loop. Okay, see the paper clip on the end? And then I'm going to press down and I'm going to neatly add some scales. Now, this is a good way to press in and add texture. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to draw lines, more texture, and the fins, and the tail. And then we've got your clay fish. Now, I want you to try to practice on the back. The, the flat side of the back of the fish, you can practice writing your name. So then we know whose fish it is. Okay, now, we see that you've made a fish and we know how, that you know how to follow the steps. You can go ahead and press it back into a sphere and then we're gonna go through this one more time to see if you remember the steps, okay? What's the first thing you do? Okay, you're gonna warm it up. After you warm it up, what's the second thing you do? Because you want it to be round like a kickball so you're gonna roll it on the table. And then, what are we going to do next? We flatten it like an Oreo cookie, flip it over once, flatten it again, and then what are we going to do next? We're going to pinch to make a tail. I'm going to pinch once, twice to make the tail. I'm going to pinch the top one, two, three, three times on the top, one, two on the bottom. Okay, and then what are we going to do with this? Add eye, and then the tip we're going to Press in on the by the side to make a mouth. Draw a line for the gills. And then we gotta add texture. And what does that mean if we're adding texture? We're gonna do what? We're gonna add some scales. And then we're gonna go ahead 
and make some more texture on the fins. And then we're going to flip it over to the back and we got to practice writing what? Writing our name. Okay, very good. And then you roll it back into a sphere, and then we're going to put it at the end of the table. Now, your hands are definitely going to feel greasy. I'm going to get a paper towel. And wipe off your hand and wipe off the table, okay, where it's the greasy spot. Okay, your hands are still going to feel greasy. So we're going to send up two students at a time to wash over their hands with soap and water. Paper towels. I shouldn't see paper towels in the sink. I shouldn't see them on the counter or the floor. They go into the trash. Please make sure you turn off the water when you're finished, okay? And that's it on how to make your clay fish. This is your practice today, but next time when you come in, you're going to make the real deal, okay, out of earth clay. And that's it. Oh, wow.